look like a little bit of a clown because I started filming this and didn't realize that um, the angle was fucked up. So, all you could see was my boobs. So, I already put my foundation on. I'm doing a full, full face of, or not a full face, it's kind of a, a face of first impressions. The primer was part of it. It's the Maybelline Blur Stick Primer. I have foundation all over the back of my hand. Um, this is so great. I'm loving it so far. It's not doing anything weird to foundation. I'm trying out the new Super Stay Foundation again. And I'm using a combination of a brush and a sponge to apply it. Good thing I wasn't talking. It wasn't like in the middle of a story. My friend did call me and that's kind of why I real when I realized what I was doing. Why I was happening. Well, Alright, I'm going to go in and see if we can do a second layer there even though we will go through and contour that. Alright. Alright, I will say that I am liking this foundation a lot more. I don't know why I didn't like it in the first place. I don't know why if, like... I don't know. I don't know if something happened to it. I don't know if something happened to my skin. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I remember it not having a lot of coverage. Oh, I forgot to say this again. I did a whole video on this foundation, which is the Maybelline Super Safe Foundation. I'm using the shade 112. Um, I did a whole video on this and I fucking hated it. I'm giving it another chance and right now I'm into it. So, and like I was saying, it's hot as hell outside. It is bullshit. So, I want to see. I want to see what this is, what this made of, yeah. Another thing that is kind of new, but new to me, I've already actually bought one of these, but it was such the wrong shade. So this is the shade C6. Um, I bought a really wrong shade last time because I really thought that I would, I don't remember if it was too dark or if it was too light and I wasn't into either of them. Lately, I'm hoping this is the right shade because I swatched these. I swatched, I didn't just guess, I swatched these. So I'm hoping that this works because lately I have not been liking a, really crazy highlight that's just not my jam right now so I'm using this this is oh, I didn't even say what this was this is the makeup revolution conceal and define this is supposed to be a dupe for the shape tape and this is in this shade c6 so oh perfect 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 lately I've just been liking my concealer just to be just a tad brighter than my foundation and what I'm doing just because I it's like strategic it's like strategic it is strategic um so I'm just gonna blend this out one eye at a time oh that works well with a brush that's so good to know stick that over our eyelid okay cool cool um I am gonna stick a little bit of this covergirl vitalist healthy concealer on top of that just to give some really it's the same shade which is great um but some really like just healthy looking under eyes that's my jam lately it's just like healthy ass looking under eyes -y. look at the difference that's crazy i love this stuff where did i even put it oh it's right here wow 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 i love this stuff it doesn't feel i don't get that I don't know. I just, this is nice. This is nice. I like this. It's nice. I like to pick the same color concealer as my under eyes because then I can like conceal pimples and shit. And like, life is so much easier. You know, when you don't have to fumble around for 900 concealers. Wow. I am bright and awake. I've never been in my life before. I am die hard for this powder. So at the drugs or at Ulta, I didn't see anything that I was like drawn to. So I'm just gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury, woo, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Air Airbrush Flawless Finish in number two. This stuff is like a filter to go all over your face. I want the whole flawless filter line. I want all of it right now. I just I am obsessed with it there is just something because I am noticing a little bit just because I have not worn like I have not worn 
full coverage concealer or full coverage foundation in since no like months so I'm just powdering my under eyes and my thing because I still want to go through and do my cream contour and bronzer uh, so now we're gonna contour we're gonna use the super stay um, foundation stick to contour I got the shade 220 beige I'm sorry, 220 natural beige. So, let's do this. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, we all, I also got a new Morphe brush, but I don't know. We could try it. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't think it's dense enough. It's not dense enough to blend that out. Shoy. Mm, here we go. I found it. This is the Real Techniques sculpting brush, so I'm just going to use that to blend this out. Do, do, do. I'm just stippling this and kind of pushing the product which isn't normally what you would want to do but since I'm mixing two things that are basically the same thing together they'll merge really really nicely and they are merging really really nicely that's what I like about taking two found two stick that's what I like about stick foundation you take two stick foundations in two different forms you can create a whole look you can just create a whole look. That's why I love it. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish that up. All right, that blended super, super smoothly. And again, it's one of those things. I love using stay foundations for contour instead of just straight up contour things because it's so just, it's just natural and it just blends in. There's no line there. It's just beautifully and blended. So, so far, so good. Um, now, this is interesting. I've heard of this before. Um, I just decided to fucking go for it. So this is the model's own cream to bronzer. Bronzer? <laughs> Um, this is in deep glow because we like we on this channel we like our bronzers dork and I guess this is supposed to be for the Chanel cream bronzer so it's a little orange it's a little nothing so okay all right I'm just gonna use the morphe m530 for this and just kind of because it's a cream to powder, so. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Hmm. Not noticing like a massive. change or anything while I was editing this I did notice that it did bronze my skin but in the harsh light of of the of the ring light it did not look like it did anything but I did notice in pictures later that night that it did show up so I am 100% for this product interesting interesting I don't think it did much I don't hate it I don't love it I wonder what it would look like on natural skin without a giant thing of foundation on I'm actually just gonna use a regular powder bronzer to just set the outer parts of my face and set all that cream and stuff I know it said cream to powder oh oh it's powdery all right this just goes on my neck then I actually keep all of the brushes that come with my um, eyeshadow palettes because because they're really really good for no I find for nose contour so this is just from one of the Anastasia ones I'm just gonna load up each part of the brush and see what's up and we're just gonna do a little nose contour shout out to all my lost boys shout out, shout, 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 shout out to all my lost boys be rowdy okay that worked all right and then just set everything down we're using the all-nighter spray just because that's the only thing that works in this heat even though fix plus is my bae this is the only thing that works in the heat i still have like a sheen i have a luminous sheen and I'm really, that airbrush powder is just literal crack. 
it is so good like I'm wearing a matte ass foundation and I have that powder just right in the center of my face and it's just beautiful and it's just like that glow that's just gonna stay there it's not gonna go anywhere it's just glowy AF so now we're gonna do our eyebrows I bought a new eyebrow pencil too because I was running out but this is just the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I got this in the shade Ash Brown. really like the shade Ash Brown. It complements the blonde really well. Put on Bob's Burgers and just speed through. So, I think what I like about Ash Brown is it's just like, it's like a non-offensive brow, you know? Like, it's not too light. It can definitely be too dark, but it's not too dark. It's all good in the hood. Everything is great. I really like this stuff. It's not too chalky and it's not too creamy. That's really nice. For my eyes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. I have only swatched this, so we're not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about this palette. I love like this color, this color, and this color. Like I love the workable colors. This one's a little interesting, and this one's a little interesting. So, but finger swatches are not the best of the best all the time. So it's hard to determine the the value it's not the value but it's hard to determine a palette based on a finger swatch I'm gonna go in with the shade sweet tea right here uh, transition shade this bitch I want to make sure it's really I want a really really blown out kind of I'm kind of going for a really blown out but like natural look kind of so I just want to make sure this is just really blown out but keeping the deeper part of the pigment in the actual crease. I'm just gonna keep going back, just cause I feel like the inner part of my eye never gets the same amount of pigment as the outer corner, on this eye at least. On this eye, it's a different story. Cause of the way my, cause I'm right handed. And then I'm gonna take Lemonade Craze, same brush actually, just kind of rinse that off. And just kind of go on top of that yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's just a light yellow wash of color, which is not what I want. Um, but Manny's palette does a really good job of that. But it gives you, just gives you like that light yellow wash, which is fine. With, and I did that with an M513. Then I'm going to take a 433 four, a four, four, a four, three, three brush and take Old Fashioned, which Old Fashioned right here, just to deepen up outer corner here that came out so good I don't know if I can recreate it on this side or not huh <laughs> I want to use citrus and I want to use main squeeze like main squeeze is like one of those shades to me that I will use this shade no matter what you can't see that that's a bad swatch no matter what look I'm really doing because it just has that beautiful just like glitterness to it that it's just really pretty or do I get a little nuts and go here I think we're gonna go a little nuts and go with citrus maybe we'll do main squeeze in the inner corner that's what we'll do um I'm gonna do a cut crease but I'm not going to do the whole concealer thing because honestly in 95 degree heat that actually sounds like hell so I'm just gonna take the shadow itself and do a cut crease
feel a bit of fallout from that shadow, but that's okay. Go back in with ice or old fashioned just to deepen that up even a little bit more. get my brush wet just to intensify the fuck out of that they should have called this shade strawberry lemonade love this this is a little this shade and I'm ex uh, I'm anticipating this shade um, it's not It's almost like it kind of comes off if you take too much. It kind of comes off in, I'm gonna see if I can do it, in like flaky sheets. Kinda. It's really weird. I don't know. I'm just gonna take a combo of Sherbet and Sunny's just because this is a little too pink, but that's a little too yellow. So yeah, mix them together and what do you get? Probably a disaster. Disaster averted. I'm gonna throw on some mascara and some lashes and then I will be right back. I'm just gonna take sweet tea and see how deep we can smoke out our bottom lash line, huh? Accentuate them bags, girl. You paid a lot of money for those. Accentuate them bags, girl. I just threw main squeeze in the inner corner which I'm going I think I'm gonna use main squeeze the most out of this entire palette so I totally kind of fucked up did not buy a highlighter don't have a highlighter so we're gonna MacGyver this shit we're MacGyvering this shit this is the Estee Lauder uh, the illuminator rating protector primer and finisher you can put this on top of your makeup and especially because I didn't set this right here we have room to play now I tested it out on the back of my hand I'm gonna put main squeeze on top of that and it's gonna look so good. Little, two little dots there. Just pat that out. Just right there. You can MacGyver anything, guys. Don't let anybody ruin your dreams, man. And then on my cupid bow, a little sheen there, and just a little bit on my forehead. Just a little. And I've used this even on powdered faces before and it does not break up makeup. So this is really, really nice. And it just gives just a beautiful sheen. Just a beautiful, beautiful little like, ooh, there's, there's your radiance. Like your skin is there. It's not just, boom. You know? <sighs> Shots on the boss boys. Shots sh 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 on the boss boys. I actually ended up using the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer and cappuccino as my blush and like whatever blush colors were left on my blush brush and just a really really light tapping of that uh, cappuccino color and just blended it into the skin and it turned out fantastic. So uh, I'm going to do the world's basic most basic lip. And the ones I wrote, stripped down the MAC lip liner and uh, Fenty gloss bomb. I am who I am and I cannot help it. Went a little crazy on that overdraw. Alright, this is the finished look, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this 
video of like first impressions, kind of a whole face, kind of not a whole face. Um, I pretty much enjoyed everything. Um, this was a little underwhelming, but I don't really know what I expected to be honest. But my favorite thing out of the whole entire thing was this blur stick. I am obsessed with this and I'm going to use it. I'm going to using it. Um, I also really did love this concealer. I'm glad I finally bought one that was correct for me. And I really am glad that I tried or um, retried the foundation. That was good. Yeah, that was it. All in all, this went really, really well. I'm very, very happy. Very happy. Even though we had to MacGyver a highlight, that's okay. That's what we're here for. Um, but anyway... Uh, thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you're into it leave a comment down below if you guys have any suggestions comments maybe some concerns and give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it i will see you guys so soon bye bye